Gary Gerald. Del Worsham was standing by here and watching with great interest as pair after pair fights this racetrack. You had struggled with your reaction time in the previous round. You threw an 067 at the tree the second time around. How much, how conscious are you of that when you don't have a good reaction time? Well, I feel terrible about it. You know, I go out there and just try and do the best I can every single time. And uh, I definitely, you know, I'm definitely better than that. I can do better than that. But, uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes things just kind of go your way. And this kind of worked in our favor, you know. And my teammate Larry went out and made a great run on the great reaction time. And he got sent home. So for Alan Nobby, Toyota, Redline, all of our sponsors, especially, you know, Shake Khaled, Alan Johnson, Brian, all them, I just tell them, you know, I'm doing my best. And I'm not trying to let anybody down. And, uh, Looking forward to another final. I mean, what a what a season. What a season, indeed. Thank you. Del Worsham. Here's Jack Beckman over in the other lane. That's Mike now. And you see, as the shadows keep changing, sun is in and out. Really hard to predict exactly what that drag strip is going to do. Well, and I don't want to say that uh, you know one side of the ladder is a lot better than the other, but. Jack Beckman and Mike Neff have the toughest side of the ladder. Both of these drivers deserve to be in the final round. Unfortunately, only one's going to be able to. Mike Neff's been unbelievable. 425 and a 422 in eliminations. Jack's been right there. He went 430 and a 427. Two very good crew chiefs. Mike Neff, the crew chief on this race car. Ron Tober on Jack Beckman's. He is no slouch, especially when it comes to running in the heat. He's won championships in both top fuel and funny cars. Neff, number one in the points. Beckman is number two. Ron Tobler, crew chief for Beckman, with a lot of wins to his credit, both in funny car and in top fuel. Neff's got him. 425, 296 miles an hour. Mike Neff goes into the final. Here's a rematch of the Houston final. That's what Mike Neff double stepped it against Jeff Aran. They're going to go at it again here in Chicago. But Mike Neff, I'll tell you, Zippy's been on his game. I don't foresee that happening again as far as a two step in the final round. He has a fantastic race car. You can take another look at it from our Ultra Mode. This car has just been going down the racetrack. This is why he is a championship caliber crew chief because he can run in any kind of conditions. And that's what you have to do to win championships. Neff is in his sixth final round in the last seven races. Yeah, Danny and the gang, they were more than happy. See that John Forrest racing car with Mike Neff at the wheel go into the finals. It'll be Mike with the lane choice when he faces Jeff Oren in the finals. Take a look at this. That's the ultra mo. Look at the car flex. Look at it move. You can see every cylinder as it fires. I love this stuff. Mike Neff and his Ford into the finals from the number one qualifying position. Can he get the 200th funny car win for Ford?